the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, at 55 kilometers long, is the world's longest sea crossing. It is a massive infrastructure project, connecting Macau and Hong Kong by road using two bridge sections, two tunnels, and four artificial islands. Proposals to build a sea crossing between Hong Kong and Macau have been floated as early as the 1980s, but were never pursued further due to the difficulties in taking on such a mammoth task. Originally, it was proposed that the link would be built much further north than the current alignment, via the Nailing Ding and Chiao Islands. To that end, the government of Zhuhai had even built a suspension bridge to Chiao with space for an eventual tunnel to continue forward. However, in Hong Kong especially, the project was met with skepticism. Creating a sea crossing across the Pearl River Delta would come with profound environmental impacts, especially to the habitat of the pink dolphin. It would also be prohibitively expensive to construct, with projected traffic falling well short of making it economically feasible. However, the Chinese government was keen on making the proposal a reality after the handover of Hong Kong and Macau. Starting from the Hong Kong side, an artificial island was built to house the required immigration facilities. Connecting infrastructure in the form of the Tun Mun Shaplak Kok Tunnel and a new bridge to the North Lantau Highway was also part of the package. From there, the new highway runs along the south side of Chaklap Kok, going through a tunnel under Scenic Hill before beginning the first bridge section to the Chinese border, known as the Hong Kong Link Road. Here, the eastern artificial island was built, forming the portal to the tunnel section of the Sea Link. After a 6km tunnel, the highway re-emerges at the western artificial island, where the main bridge begins. This is the bulk of the project, a 23km bridge connecting the tunnel to the final artificial island at the Macanese border. It includes three larger cable-stayed bridges, which increase the clearance of the bridge to allow for ship traffic to pass underneath. At the Macanese side, the final artificial island was built to house the Chinese and Macanese immigration facilities. The Pont de Macau was built here as well, a new bridge between Taipa and the Novos Ateros Arbanos, or New Urban Zone in English. Despite both Hong Kong and Macau using left-hand traffic, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge uses right-hand traffic to match China, who sees the bridge spends the most time crossing. This was decided despite criticism that swapping traffic direction twice to cross the bridge would be unnecessary. This has led to many peculiarities, such as the transport department designing new signs for the bridge. The ATMB is the only place in Hong Kong where signs like keep right unless overtaking and right driving road can be found. It also necessitated the headache of having to amend traffic legislation to cater for right-hand traffic rules as well. The shuttle bus serving the bridge, a right-hand drive as in Hong Kong and Macau, has passenger doors on both sides of the bus to accommodate both directions of traffic. Years have passed since the opening of the bridge in 2018, and it has become clear that the earlier criticisms of the proposal have rung true. The construction of the bridge was the final nail in the coffin for the pink dolphin in North Lantau waters, which used to be its core habitat. The lack of demand with private vehicles is also painfully obvious when you travel on the eerily empty six-lane expressway, especially given the eye-watering price tag of the mega project. Driving across the bridge is fairly difficult. You have to cross the various hurdles of documentation, travel quotas, and insurance and registration associated with traveling through the three countries along your journey. The bridge itself is also quite far from the city, making the high-speed ferries a more convenient option for some. Regardless, the bridge has helped connect Hong Kong and Macau in a whole new way with an incredible piece of infrastructure.